and lore. Non-canon, a generic anti-protagonist was making a lot of SAS units just in case for anything bad to happen. The companies that make M16A2s and Clock 22s are now rich and have 1 billion cash. Non-canon, Singapore's economy grew due to many shipments of black uniforms sold to the other countries for military ops. The Kalashnikov company got saved from bankruptcy after millions of buy orders for AK-74s for operations. With the help of the RLF, they were able to capture Ronagrid. Pod members consist of defectors from several intelligence agencies. They overran everything basically, except the airfield and the Sukrana. The remaining Russian military fell back to the airbase. They then asked the UN for help. I bet they got too distracted with the pod slash RLF fan arts. How the fuck do the Russian military, with tanks, planes, ships, thermals, everything else important? lost to a bunch of retarded defectors. Those defectors can't even handle a squad. Well, maybe they lost appetite to kill, when the UN came? Proof number one Whoa, some things kinda go into my homework folder. The UN sent in a task force consisting of man-child soldiers which are all born and raised in Florida. Which is named Platinum 5, here is their standard issue equipment. It also is an international task force, except North Korea and China. Special forces have to compete to be able to qualify for Platinum 5. B and C units are also included. Most Plat 5 units are SAS operatives. Nice name there, Gussy Destroyer 69. Operation Viper. This operation consists of taking back Ronagrid from Pod and RLF hands. It wasn't a clear picture. While Operation Viper was ongoing, some troops heard and reported howling noises from the central forest of the island. It was then confirmed that there is chemical weapon presence in the island. Dr. Lacuo was sent in to head the NPC operation. The Scent Squad got ambushed by zombies that are far better than the ones in ARM to end Operation Aftermath. The zombies could run almost as fast as a jeep. They are more aggressive and they wear old shadow raid uniforms. The squad was able to survive by using air support until sunlight. Imagine how much energy that will take. At an unknown time during the end of retakes, the pod and RLF built a quarry in Ronagrid. There's also a laboratory in the quarry caves which means they are probably developing a bioweapon. Which is obvious in Operation Aftermath that has zombies around Ronagrid. The pod has the same equipment as the red camouflage militia members from ARM2, so this means they probably escaped to Ronagrid. The pod took over a missile silo in Ronagrid, which contains a nuclear warhead. The raid mode, raid mode takes place in the Middle East. It involved RLF presence, which means they are an international organization. The members mainly consist of Americans, hence they speak English in ARM5. The mountain bags, vehicle shipments contain bioweapons possible to be from Operation Aftermath. There's no rescue mission in ARM5. I fucking hate you, PLTT and Club. Was making this presentation during online school my internet was so trash, I couldn't even sit without lagging always ends all their budgets in hiring South Korean models that nobody absolutely knows.